Sex with Saint family, we are back. I'm your host, B, and we are here with entertainer Ashley. Ashley, welcome to the show, and thank you for spending time with us today. Hi. Hello. So, as far as entertainer is concerned, we know that that's a broad spectrum. What actually, what realm do you fall in as far as entertainer is concerned? I am a dancer, stripper, entertainer, performer, you know, whatever you want to call it. In addition to that, you also act, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. And you're from? New York. New York, but originally? Haiti. Aiti Shelly. Aisha, yeah. <laughs> so how was that like growing up with your culture background? We know that our culture background is extremely, listen, judgmental. Mm -hmm. yeah. and so how was that like transitioning and being free and open with what you are passionate about and not allowing societal pressures to have you closed in or boxed in? Um, first of all, I feel a lot of judgment sometimes because I don't really speak Creole that good, you know, and you know how Haitians are. But um, I don't know. My parents are very strict, you know, like Catholic. So it's like they weren't really like, yeah, my dad is black American, but my mom is Haitian. Okay. So, you know, they weren't really like on board with dancing, stuff like that. You know, you know, very strict mm -hmm. Catholic bringing, you know. And you did the whole private school route and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah. So yeah. I know that was like a shocker, shocker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. In addition to that, though, but there's there's so much more within that realm, right? Mm -hmm. It's not just, you know, what we see, I guess, superficially, right? Oh, of course, of course. So a, a little tidbit, I did a little class. It was an aerobics class. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, whoa, you guys have to have so mm -hmm, much strength mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in order to pull off what you do. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? <laughs> Oh, I don't, I don't know. It's just, you kind of just have to like get into it. Actually, I've never taken a pole class. I took one. My first class was on Sunday. So it was my first class ever. And is that different from the, oh, okay. Okay. How because when you're on stage, you don't really have time to like practice, you know, you're in front of the people. So it's like, you know, like you don't have time to practice ever. I never had a pole class before. So it's like, whenever I practice, no customers are there, you know, you're just on stage. You don't have time to like try stuff you know gotcha gotcha and what about the the strength is it the same or do you find that one is easier than the other oh i feel oh you really have to be strong i feel like my muscles built up when i really started putting my energy into the pole yeah mm -hmm. definitely yeah and you, and you feel it later mm -hmm. i was yeah. like ouch yeah <laughs> yeah so transition into acting a lot of women i see is like they have eventually they say okay this was a stepping stone to um get them to their next um i guess their next passion or goal mm -hmm. is that something that you have in mind absolutely i think that you know dancing is fun i love it like i really love it it opens like a lot of doors opportunities come to you but i love acting too and that's like the main goal and we're gonna talk about some of the roles that you've been You've been in the movies, and you've rubbed elbows with a lot of A-list celebrities as well. Give me some experiences of A-list celebrities that you've rubbed elbows with. I love J-Lo. Yes. I love, love J-Lo. Um, she's so also sweet. Also a dancer. Yes, yeah. Titi, yeah. Titi Henny. Yes. Um, she's so kind. Constance Wu, she's cool. I love Constance. I think we had a good time, like, on set. Um, let me see who else was there. Will Ferrell. Nice. Um... Okay, that's all I'm really remembering right now. Okay, and your experiences with them were like, like they were really down to earth, humbling. So, yeah, yeah. Love it. Mm -hmm. Super cool people. Were you able to get any like gems from J, J Lo, being that she started in the dancing realm and then she transitioned into acting? Um, no, she didn't really talk about her dancing. Mm. You know, she didn't really talk about her dancing. But, um, no, I didn't really know she was dancing. Really, you didn't follow her before on um. In Living Color, I'm aging myself. In Living Color? <laughs> I totally just aged myself. She was one of the dancers in the Living Color. She started off in the beginning before credits rolled out. They used to dance. Really? Okay, I'm going to yeah. change the subject because I'm old now. All right. Okay. What are some things that you want to do in the future? We're gonna When we come back without aging myself, we're going to talk to Ashley about some other future endeavors that she has. Thanks for saying. Nula Sisanet 2020.